today we're gonna make Vector cupcakes. But shh, don't tell him, it's a surprise. Let's make sure we have all the things we need to make cupcakes. Apron, check. Bowl, check. Washed hands, check. Ingredients, oh no, I just broke one of my eggs. Oh man, it's really, really broken. There's no way I can fix this. What am I gonna do? You know what? This kind of reminds me of what it's like when we sin. Sometimes we get really broken and shattered and God doesn't want us to stay that way. And so he sent his son Jesus to help us so that we don't have to be broken anymore. Unlike this egg where I can't put it back together, I can't fix it, there's just stuff everywhere. It's really, really gross. But when we get to know Jesus, we don't have to be gross like that or shattered or broken. When we call out to him, he can make us new. And I think that's so cool. Don't you think that's cool? It's pretty awesome. All right, let's see. How do I clean this up? Hmm. Oh man, did you hear that? I think that was my mailbox. Man, I can't finish these cupcakes and I don't have any more eggs to finish my recipe or get any more ingredients, but that sounded like my mailbox and I'm so excited to see what letter we got today. Maybe Vector will meet us there. Will you meet us there? I'm just gonna wash up and then I'll be right there. Oh, hey, it looks like I beat Pastor Aaron here. This is perfect. Can I try one of my new jokes on you guys? All right, here it goes. Where do cows go for entertainment? All right, are you ready for this one? To the movies. Get it? Move. <laughs> Vector, were you telling one of your jokes? Yeah, you missed it. It was such a good one, Pastor Aaron. Man, I'm so bummed I missed it. I was cleaning up our kitchen. I was gonna make you some cupcakes. <gasps> cupcakes? Those are my favorite! I know, but unfortunately, while I was making my cupcakes, I dropped my only egg, so I didn't have any more ingredients. Wow. Well, now that you're here with no cupcakes, can we please open the mailbox? I've been waiting forever! Yes, let's see who we got a letter from. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it says it's from a guy named Peter. Hey, Peter, have a good story for us? <laughs> <laughs> it says, hi, my name is Peter, and I'm one of Jesus' disciples. Wow, a disciple? I know what those are. He was a friend of Jesus who told other people about Jesus. That's right. Do you know that you could be a disciple too? What? I can? I thought that was just for old people back in history. You know, the guys who wore the robes and sandals and walked with Jesus. No, anyone can be a disciple. As long as you love Jesus, you know him, and you want to share his love with all your friends. Wow, I never knew that. All right, let's see what else is in here. It says, Jesus loved me so much, but I'm afraid I messed up a little. Jesus told me I was going to deny him three times before the rooster crows. I love Jesus, and I thought there's no way that could be true. Uh-oh, Peter, you're making me nervous. Yeah, this doesn't sound like it's off to a great start. Let's see. Well, Jesus brought us to the garden to pray, and out of nowhere, these guards came up and arrested Jesus. It was so scary. We didn't know what to do, so we all ran in different directions. I don't blame you, Peter. I would have been out of there. It looks like Peter ran away, but he didn't run far. He followed Jesus at a distance to see what was going to happen to him. They took Jesus inside for a trial, and he wasn't allowed inside. So he says, I thought I'd wait by a fire to keep warm, and that's when it happened. The first person asked me if I was one of Jesus' disciples. And I froze, and I said no. Oh no! It looks like Jesus was right. 
That's the first time he denied knowing Jesus. Then another person came up to me and asked the same question. I panicked and I said no again. Oh no, that's number two. Peter, I believe in you. Don't do it again. All right. Then someone came up and they said to me, didn't I see you in the garden when Jesus was arrested? I told him no and then the rooster crowed. Oh no, that was number three. Man, Jesus really does know us better than we know ourselves. You're right, he does. But Peter's story doesn't stop there, Vector. It looks like there's still hope. After Jesus' trial, a bunch of stuff happened. He died on the cross for our sins, and then three days later, he rose again. After he rose again, I got to see him, and he forgave me for denying him. I'm so proud to call myself a disciple. Wow, that's so cool. That is really cool. I think it's awesome that any of us can be a disciple. And this story kind of reminds me of when I dropped my egg this morning. I made a mess everywhere, and it was like I couldn't clean it up, but we know that Jesus can clean up all of our messes. I bet you Peter didn't feel really good during his story that he told us today. I know that there have been a few times that I failed, and I haven't felt really good about it. I've messed up, whether I've done actions or my circumstances, and I've gotten into a place that just feels really messy. But Jesus is always with us. There's never anything we can do that will make him not love us. He's always going to love us, and we can never stop him from loving us. I think that's really awesome. What do you think, Vector? I think so too, Pastor Aaron. You know, I think maybe we should pray. I think we should pray too. I think it's so important to listen to God and to talk to him. You know, sometimes when I go and do something wrong, I have this little voice inside my head that tells me not to do it. And do I do it anyway? Sometimes I do. But I know now that that's God's voice telling me not to do it. Because whenever I ignore it, I end up in a really messy situation. So I think it's awesome to pray. Let's pray now. Hey, Pastor Aaron, just before we do, can we get all our wiggles out first? I think that's a great idea. Let's do it on the count of three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Get your wiggles out! Okay, you ready to pray? Yeah, I'm ready, Pastor Aaron. Okay, let's close our eyes and hold our hands. God, thank you for loving us no matter what. There are times that I've messed up really bad, and I'm thankful that you forgive me when I turn back to you. Please help me this week hear your voice and feel your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, Pastor Aaron, before we go, are you going to tell everybody about the new memory verse? Oh, that's a good idea. Our memory verse is John 13, 35. By this we will all know you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Wow, that's a good one. I'm going to work hard on that. I'll see you later, Pastor Aaron. Bye, Bye everybody. Victor. Bye.